All right, guys, if y'all hear a sound, that's my son in the background <laughs> practicing his French horn. But I did want to share this last uh, mom tip. As you can see, I get my son involved. He is in the sixth grade. My daughter helps as well. But I'm going to be frank with you all. I cannot take them both at the, in the kitchen at the same time. It irritates my spirit. So I picked my son today. We do opposite days because I'm teaching them the value of being clean. Nobody wants a nasty person in anybody's kitchen. And so if you're eating the food, you need to help clean up. So I have him to wipe down the counters, <clears throat> not the counters, I do the countertops. I have him to wipe down the cabinets and then help load up the dishwasher. And then my husband helps washes the pans. But my other mom tip is I use this as another garbage bowl. When we dump that bowl, when I'm scraping the counters, that way you don't waste food all on your floor. You have to sweep it anyway, but I like to mop only once a week. And to be frank with you all, my husband really much, pretty much does the mopping. And so that way it's not cucumbers on the floor, tomatoes or peppers. It goes into um, this particular container, then I dump it and wash it. And I do the countertops because my kids act a little cuckoo and they, um, I normally have them do it on the weekend. That way, if they mess up, they can mop it up. So that is my mom tip. And so my new thing I'm trying this week, because I'm going to be frank with you all, I did not cook hardly at all last week. I did not feel well. And uh, <laughs> he needs some more nutritionist food. And um, it was a fun weekend uh, nonetheless. So today I've made my version of a poke bowl with the carrots, the broccoli, and the pork. And it's going to be served with steamed rice, and I'll show you all that. And then tomorrow they'll have the um, orzo with the meatballs and spinach. And then I'm going to clean out this deep freezer because our freezers are too full. So I'm going to save a little money by getting, let me use up all these vegetables and whatnot inside this deep freezer and keep it moving. All right, y'all. See y'all in a minute. All right, guys. I am starting off this week's vlog with cooking. I am doing my best to make at least two meals every other day so I won't be overwhelmed during the week while I'm cooking. So I'm also trying to do healthier meals. And so as you see here, I'm chopping up the vegetables from the pasta salad, but it's mostly going to be vegetables with a little bit of pasta. And that is what I'm doing at this particular time. I'm only boiling two cups of pasta and I'm adding um, some of my roasted vegetables here and cutting up the cucumbers and adding carrots because I really wanted this salad to be mostly vegetables versus pasta. And so you will see the final outcome. And of course I added some carrots for a touch of sweetness. Now that the pasta uh, salad is done, I am now adding some sesame seed oil into the pan to cook up this chopped pork. And of course, I added some soy sauce to season up the meat, and I am not adding any salt. Add some leftover teriyaki seasoning sauce, and so therefore, I'm adding this to the pork. A couple of tablespoons of ginger to make it an extra little kick and then I'm adding a bag of shredded carrots and broccoli because of course I'm trying my best to get the vegetables in every dish now I am starting on dish number two and guys this meal was delicious these are the pre-made meatballs that I buy at Walmart. They're already seasoned, but they're a little large for my family, so I just um, boil them up again in half and uh, cook them on the stove with a little bit of olive oil. Now I am adding a box of orzo uh, pasta and two cups of chicken stock that I made from chicken bouillon and man, it really does taste delicious. All right guys, I went back and added another cup of uh, chicken stock and now I'm going to add a bag of spinach.
I'm going to add the top back, and it should be ready to go. All right, that is the final product. That is the meal for Tuesday night. And I just need to cool down a little bit, and then I'm going to add the top. Is going to eat for dinner. So, having said that, y'all know I'm on my health kick. I started back over and I have these lunch bowls. I got these. I've been had these for a minute. I got these from Amazon and I will try to leave them in the description bar um, if you're interested because they actually are pretty good. So, this is what they look like. And what I'm going to do is put my pasta salad at the bottom. And I already bought this grilled chicken um, diced by Tyson, no added hormones or steroids, and that's going to be my protein for this particular dish. All right, y'all, let me scoop this up and I'll show y'all the final product. Now I have my lunch ready for the week. All right, guys, this is my garbage bowl, and now it's my son's turn to come and help clean the kitchen, dump the stuff, and start loading up the dishwasher. Let's get it. thing I want to say is I am old school. I believe in bleaching the water. And so I have my towel soaking in a little bleach water and then I'll be able to wash this container really quickly. And then the kitchen is almost done. Hey people. Good morning. How are you all today? I am feeling way better. It's, it's kind of odd when I'm in the wind. It seems like my sinuses open up when it kicks my behind is when it's time to go to sleep. And so I feel like I've been on a uh, NyQuil for seven days and seven nights. And you all know, I told you all, I can get addicted to that sleeping medication because I have a hard time sleeping. But baby, I got to get off. Uh, last night I took melatonin. And we're going to have to say goodbye to that too. I'm going to probably use it two more days. And then my body builds up an immune to it. And I got to like, okay, let's go back to sleep naturally. But honey, I only miss one day of work. And Monday, we had a PD day. Baby, the people were warning me, a uh, friend, um, it was an earthquake, so I got to see what's going on. I thought I was going to play some Kirk Franklin to get some joyful spirit going, but I think I'm going to pull out some old school Yolanda Adams because, honey, the people are talking, and I got to see what's going on. But anyway, I'm going to check in with you all later. Let me unpack and see what the foolishness is about. All right, y'all, see you in a minute. Well, guys, I told you all it was going to be a busy day. I had just finished speaking with you all, and I got a phone call that we have a pen waiting for me in the office. And so I got to go see what's going on. I don't even have a hands up, but I'll keep y'all informed. All right, y'all. All right, guys, I'm back from the parent conference, and it went well, so that was good. Um, but now I'm with three of my other students that I have to deal with. So, hey. Mm -hmm. We're about to have a little conference. Just because I miss a day of school doesn't mean we don't hold ourselves to the highest standards of behavior. Don't mean mug me. Look like you happy. All right, y'all. One second. I want you all to know it ain't even 8.15. I need my hot tea. And my iced coffee. I mean, this is actually an iced latte because y'all know I got to have an, a, a double espresso in my coffee. All right, y'all. Uh, these kids are trying to give me a wrinkle, but I refuse and rebuke. I'll be with y'all in a minute. Not too wide, but wide enough to put his scraping feet out. 
Ooh, hair is flying. Ooh, hair is flying in the wind. Let me smooth that back down. Baby, I couldn't even check back in with you all yesterday because the block was hot. I had 5011 apparent conferences when I came back, and now I got 5011 absences on today. Today is Tuesday. Um, no, it's not. It is Wednesday, the 21st. I fixed my Apple Watch so I quit looking crazy when I'm saying the dates. I done popped the nail. Uh, what else? My principal has a training, so he's not here today. My teammate has jury duty. And everybody in their daddy has called off. So, um, it's going to be interesting. I don't know what to say. It's going to be interesting. But I got a good group of people that I'm working, going to be working with. And I'm going to reach out for some favors because I need some extra help. And baby, I know they're going to come through. But I am getting ready to get back out in this hallway to greet the kids. But I wanted to check in with you all real quick. And I'll see y'all in a few minutes. All right. I'm walking down the hall doing room checks and letting the kids know. I will check them if I have to. Mm-hmm. Standing in front of fifth grade right now. Let's see who doesn't have two feet and one square. Girl, um, some extra. All right, y'all, I think they're okay. Okay, she's in the bathroom. Oh, I got on too much gloss. Let me take some of this off. I'm looking like the kids. I thought I was going to be able to make it a little later. For my coffee, honey, the people are like, uh, no, we need <laughs> they will... It's going to be a day. I I'm telling y'all. But um, I'm built for it. I bought these at Target because they look like the knockoff Starbucks. But this little O-ring that keeps coming out is irritating my soul. All right. This is an iced latte I have made. And I need it right now. All right, y'all. See you in a minute. We are on our way to a beautiful field trip. They gave the kids mini book lights and honey with the music blasting. When I said it was lit, it was lit in more ways than one. wanted to showcase a little of this each room was decorated and designed by the main character of a book a librarian was reading to the students all right we had a blast here it was phenomenal i can't wait to go again all right people how is it going um, Y'all, I'm coming in here with prayer, some burnt sage, and some holy water. I don't know what is going on, but the behaviors have been popping all week. And I just got to make it a spring break, give myself a week off. Okay, y'all? But anyway, I hope your day is going well and you are blessed. And um, we're just going to keep each other lifted up in prayer. So I'm going to check in with you all a little later. And what else has got going on? Oh, and I got some tea for you about my husband, girl. When I say... He changed into a cheer mom, not a cheer dad. When he saw his daughter at that um, cheer competition in Louisiana, I'm going to tell y'all about that. I mean, his whole personality changed. So when I check back in with you all, I'll tell you all about it. All right, y'all. Hey, people, how is it going? Honey, let me tell you. When I tell you it was drama this week, it was drama. We could have gave... Real Housewives of Atlanta a run for their money. I'm not lying. If there was a reality show at my campus, we would be number one. Yes, ma'am. And that's all I can say. But y'all can read between the lines when I say Housewives of Atlanta. It was that type of foolishness. But anyway, y'all, I feel like I ain't talking to y'all because, baby, the block has been hot. And I have been just handling discipline issues and, you know, making sure my own kids are up to par. So that has been the focus. I hope y'all are going, uh, doing well and everything is going great. But I just had to tell, share something with you all that I thought was just too cute not to share. My husband is a nerd and he's one of those by the book nerds. Like he likes to see stuff in writing. Even if we have to take a trip, okay, what time are we leaving? What time, da, 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 da. When are we going? He doesn't even, one of those people 
my brothers laugh because you know I have a problem driving. My husband doesn't even uh, break the speed limit. He's that type of person. He don't break no laws. So when we went to this cheer competition, uh, my husband turned into a cheer mom. And I'm not saying even a cheer dad. I mean a full-fledged cheer mom. He uh, wanted the jackets. Cause we, I didn't order my daughter the jacket. I was like, this is Texas. It's not... Uh, it's too hot for a jacket baby he want his baby in the jacket he saw a man who had the shirt that said um cheer security so now he won one of those because we got a competition in san antonio coming up in the summertime baby i was hollering i told my husband to uh, eat lunch before we go because he does not like to buy food at those stadiums and stuff baby why was he eating uh, about uh caramel uh nuts water coke we don't even drink soda at home i was giggling he got that hype he was like whatever my daughter well the other kids got my daughter better have too so then he got in the car and i screamed he said i thought this was a waste of money but now that i seen my daughter in action this is great for character building <laughs> and i got so tickled because he meant that with his whole heart but anyway, y'all, I just had to share that with you all because I am. this is like a video diary for me. Y'all don't know it, but we are best friends. And I just had to share that because when I told my brother, he hollered because it, it's just so out of the world for David to be this hype over a cheer squad. But baby, he we wearing matching shirts and stuff. We getting them made uh, for that San Antonio trip. We will be together. And luckily for us, <clears throat> our, her colors are red, white, and blue. But baby, Louisiana does not play. Louisiana folks had on sequins jackets. One team colors were black, gold, and white. Even the moms had matching uh, miniature backpacks with their name on it. I was outdone, but I was clapping. I was like, ooh, baby, doing it. So we're going to be one of them cheer families too, honey. You about to show out as well. All right, child, I'm going to focus on driving. I'm at a light. And then I am, I'm going to cook one more meal. And then I think we're going to close out this week. All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey people, I have made it home and took off my work clothes. And so um, this meal, I am making my version of a tuna casserole. But be frank with you all, it is the poor man's version of tuna casserole. When I was a little kid and we would go stay with my grandmother in the summertime, she still was able to get some of that uh, government cheese. And up north, you know, that government cheese was a white and black box and it just said cheese on it. But my Aunt Darlene will always take that cheese and make some really delicious tuna casserole. So this is my version of the poor man's tuna casserole. So I already got the water boiling and now it's time for me to open up this cans of tuna. All right, people, I hope you have enjoyed this week's vlog. And if you have any tips or tricks, please share them with me. I need all the help I can get. So until the next time, friends, I wish you lots of joy and, of course, many blessings. Bye, guys.